Hello and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial with me Groover. Now today I have for you a tutorial for the Bedrock Engine version of the game and this is my amazing elevator. Now why is it amazing? Let's have a look at that. You see all the, all the way up there. That's where we're going to go right now. Let's just jump in here. Boom. We're going. We're on our way. Sometimes it does that but that doesn't matter because I can just keep going. And suddenly we're up at the top, which is fantastic. Um, now, how does this work? Because as you can see, there isn't exactly much going on here. Now, this is using one of the bugs which is in the game, which is actually marked as won't fix. So I think this is going to be in the game for quite a while now, guys. So make the most of it. Now, what happens is if you place down a slime, let's just show you like this slime with a boat on top okay that's all we're going to do bang and off we go we're flying now what does this actually rely on it takes a few seconds to charge up so if that just stops moving and i jump straight and it's barely going to bounce at all now let's just show you that uh, it's stopping bouncing now let's jump in yeah it's not jumping as high as it could do Whereas if I give it a good solid few seconds between it stopping bouncing and it moving, go away, I don't want you ending up in this boat. Oh, you fool. You fool. Okay, <laughs> let's see if it works with passengers. So I'm giving this a few seconds to charge and then I'm going to jump in and off we both go. And as you can see, I got up to around about 95 there rather than where I got before, which was about 86. So the longer you let it charge, the better. Um, but it does have a maximum kind of capacity and that's around about the sort of 22 block mark but what we've got marked out over here is the actual height from the slime block up so from the slime block we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 30 ish actually so i got that completely wrong it'll take you around about 30 blocks up now what happens here is the boat comes through here and it's going to hit this tripwire right here and that is going to switch off the torch and that's going to close this fence gate okay and that's going to mean that the boat sits on top of the fence gate so let's have a look at that off we go Perfect. And then when I want to jump out, I just press the space bar and I jump out straight on top of the boat. And that means that I can walk away. Now, as soon as I leave this tripwire hook area, it's going to drop the boat back down. Okay. So very, very simple stuff. Now, as you can see up here, I've got another boat set up and I can jump in that one and go to the next level. And same for that. Like I said, sometimes this happens. This is a little bit strange, but it means that you haven't quite got into the boat properly, but that doesn't matter. You can just jump in and off you go. Okay, so there's always a possibility that what happens is you end up in the boat going back down and you end up getting stuck like this and you're kind of not sure what to do, but I'll show you what to do in this, in this situation. So I'm just going to wait here for a moment. Now, the thing that happens is this is going to bounce when I get out of the boat as well. Okay, so this is it charging now. If I just look straight up and I press spacebar, then right click, I launch the boat and I jump straight into it as well. So it's kind of easy to deal with. It's not a big problem. Let's just go down there. And because it's all with slime blocks, it's kind of bouncy, so you're not going to get too hurt unless you do that like me. That will hurt. Um, like that. Off we go. There we are. Now, another thing with this design is that I actually have the slime blocks on opposite sides. So as you can see, this time it's on the right and on the next one up, it's going to be on the left. Now, that is because when I jump into the boat, if it's all on the same side, I can't actually face the right way to get into the next boat. OK, so if I have them facing opposite directions, then we're going to keep on going up and we're going to get to where we want to. So let's actually have a little go at building one of these and I'm just going to do two, two tiers of this and then we'll have a little test of it and see how it goes. 
Okay, I'm not going to do the whole kind of this is exactly what you need kind of thing, but you see the items down there in my hotbar, you just need a small but ready supply of those items. So this is really inexpensive, except from the slime. But of course, I've got a slime farm design which you can use to get yourself the slime that you need. So that's not going to be too expensive either. Now, first things first, you want to select an area where you want it to go. And I would suggest building this at least three blocks off the ground. Now, that is just to prevent anything like the cows wandering into it and all that kind of thing. So we're just going to start off by building the two uprights. So there we go. This is our two upright area. And we need to go up 29 blocks on one side and 27 on the other. Now, before I set off, I'm going to put in a slime block right there as our marking starting block. So let's go up with a 29 and that's including this one. So this is two, three, four, five. And then on this side, two, three, four, five. And there we go. So that one's 29 blocks, that one is 27. It doesn't matter which side the slime actually sits on. It's kind of entirely up to you. Um, but I'm going to do it like this because I like it like this. Right, on this side, we're going to come out by one and then up by one. And I'm going to put another two on there straight away, just as a kind of marker. Now on here we're going to go out like that and then up like that and we don't need that block anymore. And then we're going to go up, up and across like that and then those two come back out. Okay, so on the back of this one we're going to place on our torch and we're going to place on our redstone like this. Now right here on the opposite side to the slime we're going to place in a block right there and we're going to place in our fence gate like that and then take the block away. Okay, so this is really simple so far, isn't it? Oh goodness, I forgot my tripwire hooks. Let's grab a couple of tripwire hooks. Can I see them? Go on, let me in. There we go. Right, tripwire hooks. You need those as well, guys. Um, just like that. And then we're going to put in two pieces of string. One and two. Okay, so that's it all linked up. Now, what I should be able to do is open that and then when I stand in that wire, it closes. Okay, it is that simple. Now, going back down to the bottom here, I'm going to show you how to place the boat. So, you want to stand on the opposite side to the slime and you're going to aim right for this edge, right here, right in the middle. Okay, so just like that. Right, let's give this a little try. Jump in, boom, off we go. I obviously didn't let it charge for long enough. So I'm going to wait for a second. Okay, so when I get out of this boat, it's going to go firing off. So like I said before, if I look up and I press spacebar, then right click straight away, off we go. Okay, and that is the first module done. So jumping up onto this side, we're going to go up by three blocks again on top of this. One, two, three. Okay. And then because we have the slime on the right hand side, we want the next bit of slime on the left hand side. And then we're going to do exactly what we did before. So we're going to go up 29 blocks, including this one and 27 blocks, including this one. Now, if you want to keep it symmetrical or as it is down there, you can. If you want to switch things over like I'm about to, then you can. It doesn't matter which way around this goes, as long as it's built in this way. So I'm going to go up 29 on this side. So this is number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then because I'm here, I'm just going to do the up and out thing like that. And then build it up a bit like that okay and that is making it ready for the next layer which I'm not going to build but I'm just going to show you where it goes and then back over onto this side so this is number one this is number two three four five six seven eight and there we go that is the 27 so I'm going to come out here like this again and then up like that and then I'm going to go up by two and across by one and take those two back out torch there redstone 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 and then put in a block there temporarily to place on the fence gate break that open the gate okay on there we need our tripwire hooks and then we need the two string one and two okay perfect so i'm just going to give that a test yeah that's working exactly as intended and then i'm just going to build that up a little bit again as well okay 
whoops, no, not there, like this, on top of the tripwire hook, so you keep that too wide channel, okay? And then coming back down here on top of this one, like I showed you before down at the bottom, we want to get our boat and we want to carefully place it right in the middle on that edge, okay? And there we are. So if I go back down to the bottom now, I can walk up to here and jump in, off we go. And there you go, you see, I'm ready and facing for the next one. If I'd placed the slime on the other side, I kind of wouldn't be able to turn around far enough to get to it. So you've got to alternate those slimes and then jump into that one and off we go. And fantastic. And then as you saw over here, whoops, you can build it up however you like. So I just built up like little exit way so that if I wanted to jump out the boat, I could, I could get out and walk. And I covered it in the glass as well. Now, don't go putting in full blocks around this side because that will block the movement of the boat. You need something like the glass or like um, the iron fencing. What's that called? Caging? I don't know. Somebody write what it's called in the comments. I've got no idea right now. Um, but it has to be something with a smaller hitbox and that'll just keep the boat aligned. Now, the boat can become misaligned. It is possible. But if you're just using it like this, like I am right now, you should not have any problems whatsoever. Oh, except from this little problem, which is a slight annoyance more than a problem. And then I can jump out and go walking. Hmm. Right, so there we go guys, that is my awesome elevator and I really hope you like it, it's, it's really handy. I'm looking forward to building this in my survival world because it's going to help me get up and down very quickly and very easily and very cheaply as well. I don't have to go crafting any stairs or walking up anything, it's just going to bounce me straight up. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out in my survival world and it's really simple. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to please leave a like and if you enjoyed it that much and you want to see some more, drop me a subscribe and hopefully I will see you again soon. Goodbye!